Okay, what is up you do, HBJ here? And we're gonna be taking a look at this guy. Yep, we're gonna be taking a look at the Mechanized Madness Structure Deck. So this is the um, Structure Deck R for the Machina archetype. As we all know, Machina Command uh, was the original Machina um, Structure, or no, yeah, Mechanized Command was the original Structure Deck for them. And they got another one with some up graded monsters and arsenals and a bit of backstory to them. So this, I'm going to say is point blank. If you're expecting something like the um, Shadal Showdown structure deck, this is not that. You know, it's not a reprint of every card in the arsenal. They just got a whole bunch of new cards um, added to the archetype and it's a big range of practically everything. Because um, you still need stuff from the upcoming set, Eternal Code. And I think you also need a couple of cards from what's coming in Rise of the Duelist, too. So, expect not to really have this put together, but do expect at least something big and variant uh, with this. So, I'm going to take a look, actually, at the mat. So, i move the structure deck over. Uh, but this is the um, play mat that they give you, of course, whatever structure deck. Um, in the TCG, it's just a big paper one, and it features all the new Machina monsters. We have um, Machina Cardinal, Machina Air Rider, and Machina Air, Air Radiator. And then on the back, of course, is all the new Machina support uh, that be, that is told um, on how to use specific, the specific cards, what cards to look out for. When you're building your strategy, the list itself of everything in the deck, which we'll go over ourselves. And then, of course, spoilers for the new set that will be coming up. The old set, and this previous came with some ideas of cards you can put into them. And then just some side sets with some uh, various cards if you're interested in playing the game itself. Alright, so I am done with the paper mat, because that's not getting in the way. And now we can actually start looking at the deck itself. So, we're going to start off with all the, with the hollows, and the hollows consist of Machina Cardinal, uh, Machina Possess Storage, uh, Machina Air Raider, I call them Air Raider, no, this is Air Raider. Then we have Machina Deployment, and Machina, no, we have Unauthorized Reactivation, sorry. Then, let's go on to the surplus of cards uh, for the structure deck itself, so Machina Era Radiator, uh, Machina Fortress, Machina Gear Frame, Machina Peacekeeper, Machina Force, uh, Machina Megaform, Machina Cannon, uh, Machina Soldier, Machina Sniper, Machina Defender, and Commander uh, Cor uh, I keep getting this monster's name wrong. Covington. Covington. Then, uh, for some more supporting cards, we have uh, Rizu Re no Jizu Re uh, Jizu Kiru, the Star Destroying Kaiju. We have Snowplow Hustle Wrestle, Genex Ally Birdman, Scrap Recycler, uh, Takui Tuning Gear, uh, Righty Driver, Lefty Driver, Deathbot One. And that's about three. The funny thing is, I just read off a whole bunch of tuners, and there's not one extra deck monster in here that is a machine. They don't even have an extra deck monster for the Machina archetype itself. Yeah. So, all right, that is the monster lineup, and of course, the beginning hollows of the structure deck. Then, for the spell, the, the other spells that come in this, we do have um, Machina Defense Perimeter, Machina Arm Unit. Machina, oh, Iron Call and Iron Draw. We have Magnet Rise, Limiter Removal, Ties of the Brethren, Pot of Avarice, Cosmic Cyclone, and Supply Squad. So that's the lineup there for all the spells. Then, of course, no deck is without its traps. And for this one, we have Machina Overdriver. We have um, Cyber Summon Blaster. Two copies of Back to the Front, one copy of Track Trick, one copy of Be Gone Nave, and one copy of Solemn Strike. 
uh, here in the structure deck. So, um, my first thing about the structure deck itself is they have a lot of machine tuners and not one machine synchro monster in here at all. Um, which kind of bothers me. The other thing is um, there's a great array of monsters in here. And I think only one or two cards got switched out. Um, I believe one of the spells got switched out. And then I believe Potter Average got included um, at the last minute. Which is funny because Potter Average is already in the Shadal structure that, that literally came out um, two months ago. So, uh, Machina Cardinal, this is the boss, the new boss monster for the Machina archetype. It's no longer a Machina Fortress. This is just an advanced fortress with a lot of add-ons to it. It can't be normal summon or set, must, first, must be summoned with by a card effect. A quick effect, you can target one machine monster, you control, destroy that machine monster, and all monsters your opponent controls with attack that is equal to or less than the attack of this card. If a face up earth machine monster uh, you control except for Machina Cardinal is destroyed by a battle card effect. While this card's in your graveyard, you just have to summon this card from your graveyard. You can use each effect of Machina Cardinal once per turn. So this thing is pretty much just a beefed up Machina Fortress. Uh, its color scheme is in a race is similar to that. It's a really big, beefy monster and has a lot of advances to itself. We have Machina um, Possessed Storage. This is the second monster to come in here. So, uh, this monster's effect reads if this card is normal or special summon, you can target one Machina monster in your graveyard except for Machina Possessed Storage. The special summon in defense mode and it can't activate this effect till the end of the turn. You can target one other machine monster you control and one spell which I card your opponent controls, return them to hand. So it's a balance, it's a decent enough summon, it's an okay monster, I don't really think it should have been a hollow, but it does have the ability to special summon, so I guess it fits there. Um, then we have Machina Air Raider, so this monster, of course, um, level 10 machine type monster, it's effect reads, that you can discard one other mach Machina monster, so summon this card from your hand. Uh, during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can target one machine monster you control, so summon from your hand, one mocking, no, so summon from your deck, one mocking monster with a different name, and then equip the, uh, and equip that lower level monster, um, to this card, no, to that card, and if you do destroy the target, and you only use each effect once per turn, so this dream is just an additional summon on a heavy body, which is not bad, um, and I honestly thought this was going to be wind, but no, it's earth. And then we have the two additional spells. We have the uh, Machina Redeployment. It was pretty much either a discard uh, to add two Machina monsters with different names uh, from your deck to your hand. Then the other is discard a Machina card and add two Machina cards with different names from your graveyard to your hand. Um, except for a Machina Redeployment. So you have search literally in this card and you have set up with this card because you can set up all of the other machina cards in the graveyard as well and then we have our and then you have the um, unauthorized reactivation you target a machine monster you control you quit one appropriate machine union monster from your hand or deck to that monster then the union monster equipped cannot be such a summon um and you only use this effect once per turn but that's probably really fine because you at least can get uh, probably get an end phase, go for a gear frame, equip the gear frame to the fortress or the cardinal, and then during your turn you can special summon the gear frame and then get all the effects off of the gear frame, which is not bad. Um, like I said, these, it's a mediocre setup for the first few cards, um, but then the rest of them kind of get a little better. Um, we got, of course, the Machina Air Radiator. Uh, you can discard another Machina monster from your hand, so summon this card. Uh, yeah, discard one Machina, other Machina monster, such as this card from your hand. You target a machine monster you control, so summon from your graveyard one Machina monster with a different name that has equal to or lower level than that monster. And if you do, you destroy the first target. I mean, you only such summon one Machina um, air radiator per turn. This is pretty much just a combo with the big guys, uh, Machina Fortress and Machina um, Cardinal with their additional abilities. Uh, which is not too bad on a very heavy, high-level body. I think this is level, yeah, level 8. But 
this type of heavy body. And then we got, okay, the old school setup. We have Machina Fortress, Machina Gear Frame, and Machina Peacekeeper, of course. These are just the, the monsters for the Machina setup that were actually part of the original Machina structure deck. Uh, of course, no force is without all of its compartments. We have Machina Force and Machina Mega Form uh, adding on to that. I mean, Mega Form is just a combination of Machina Fortresses put together. Uh, we do have Machina Force, uh, who is an amalgamation of other Machina monsters put together, like a giant, um, like a Megazord. And then we have Machina Cannon, which Machina Cannon, for the most part, probably was just discarded in order to help some Machina Fortresses. Um, and then, of course, we have Soldier, Sniper, um, Defender, to pretty much go into Machina uh, Force which none of these monsters really saw any play um, outside the big ones, and that was just to help get Machina Force into the graveyard. We have Curver Convoy, which is another search. Um, when it regards with the Machina monsters, I mean, this is pretty basic stuff just for any structure deck to have a lot of the floating support monsters in and out of the deck itself to at least give more room. If there was anything I would replace, honestly, I would just 9 out of 10 drop these in add in a couple of the gadgets since there are viable ways to play with the gadgets uh then on top of that of course we do have a ton of new monsters uh first is a reprint of a kaiju that probably needed his reprint and glad i got multiple copies of um jizu kiribu the star i mean jizu kiru the uh, star destroying kaiju and i believe this is the second or the first highest static kaiju monster so you get some use out of a lot of your kaiju cards if you have them because the soul burn structure deck has the dinosaur kaiju in it uh snowplow hustle russell this was actually a replace because i think bullet express train was supposed to be in the set was in the ocg set and then they took it out and put this in here um I really don't care too much for this train. I care more about a lot of the other trains. And then, of course, the Dreadnoughts that um, get summoned by... Uh, I forget her name. I know her last name is like Kaboom. And it's a reference into trains themselves. Uh, then we have... Well, before I get into the tuners... Because um, I think everyone else except for one card is a tuner that's left. Yeah. So uh, we do have uh, Scott Recycler who just... Get, who's getting reprinted just because we needed a machine in here uh, to do some pot of like effects, even though we have pot of And then let's talk about all of these tuners we have in here. Genex Ally, Birdman, uh, Turquoise Turning Gear, uh, Righty Driver, Lefty Driver, Despot 1 and Despot 3. My problem with this is Machina had a chance to have tuners. Why they didn't give... Machina has tuners. Well, it's using tuners. But where is the synchro monsters? Come on now. That would have been a great thing to do. Give us a Machina monster in the main. And then give us a boss monster in the extra deck. Which would have fit perfectly for them. Um, I don't want to say it's a waste of tuners. But yeah, it's kind of a waste of machine tuners. Unless you just wanted freebies to help discard for Fortress and Cardinal. Or take advantage of the card. Now, I think the reprint of both um, the uh, Star Destroyer Kaiju. Um, I don't know how much scrap recyclers work because I even have common scraps uh, recyclers running around. So I don't think that's an issue. And I think this is the first reprint for Snowplow Hustle Russell. So that's kind of okay. Everyone else is just pretty much there was no need for these tuners. Like we could have just put in like the gadgets. We would have had play sets of gadgets. I still want to play set of the gadget monsters. Just because, just to say, I have a play set of each of the gadgets. Um, but yeah, I just feel like it's a waste of space with things, really. And it just could have been so many better options. Alright, so I'm done with the monsters and ripping that apart. Um, now I'm taking a look at the spells. And spells are not too bad. Um, of course, it is a Machina structure deck, so you do have its um, evasives. If you don't know what Machina Defender um, permit, def defense perimeter is pretty much continuous cell when you control a level 7 or higher machine type monster um, you can your opponent cannot your opponent's monsters can't target level 6 or lower machine monsters for attacks also your opponent cannot target them for spells for the card effects 
And if the space on a card, no, if you face a machine monster, you control the destroy battle card effect. You can target one machine monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So it gives you your cycle uh, from that perspective. Um, let's say you dump for Machina Fortress, and then Fortress gets blown up. You can retrieve Fortress with us. Um, or the other card you use, Semi. And it is a key to a spell, and pretty much it just locks out your opponent from doing a lot of things because it's gonna make you it's gonna make your opponent forced to deal with a lot of these heavy hitters. That's why a lot of people um are pretty much saying this is pretty much machine beat, because literally it is machine beat. Uh, we already know about Mike and the Arm Unit, because that's not an old card. Uh we have Iron Call and Iron Draw just for some additional machine support. Uh, we do have Magnet Reverse, which I believe special summons. Uh, you target a machine or rock monster, you banish that monster from grave, and then that, uh, yeah, you target that banished monster, uh, yeah, what is this? Uh, that is, yeah, banish on your grave or any special summon. So it's pretty much just a quick play version of a monster reborn for machines and, um, rocks. Limited removal, because it's machine. Ties of the Brethren for all the machines in here. Of course, the reprint of Pot of Avarice, which at this point, it doesn't really matter. Pot's at three. They want multiple pots flying around. And the reprint isn't too bad, because it just upstates the tax. Um, reprint in the Umpteenth, uh Structure Deck, Cosmic Cyclone, and Supply Squad, because why not? Overall, with the spells, I really don't have a problem with them. Um, it's machine-based, and that's what we're going to do. Maybe this should have been MST. Maybe this... No, this should have stayed where it is, but that Cosmic Cyclone. Maybe that could have been MST. Because you can easily get common Cosmic Cyclone. They're not hard in the structure decks they come out of. Next up is the Traps, of course. With Machina Overdrive. It targets one machine monster. You control, you set summon a Machina monster with a different name from your deck or hand. And if you do, you destroy your other target. Then you can banish this card from the graveyard. You can target the three Machina, no, three of your machine monsters. Uh, and then shuffle them back to your deck to draw one. This is very much a, another in two pot of Avarice, but this also is a great way to fluctuate your machine monsters because cards like Machina Fortress, Machina Card don't have their additional effects when they're destroyed. You have search, you have Shibi. Reliability within a lot of the cards that are here and there. So it's not too bad of a little sp of a trap card. Uh, we do have a lot of reprints. First off is the Cyber Summon Blaster. Um, which I mean at this point, they just needed some filler. Uh, two backs to the front. I think this is kind of just to help with mocking a Cardinal. Because it cannot be social summon. Um, it can't be normal summon. I said you're going to have to social summon through a card effect. And not to mention all the other monsters you can easily take advantage of and just put up walls with this card. Get Mike in the Fortresses, blow up your opponent's stuff, and you just get a lot of here's and there's with the um, way the machines work this time around. The big reprint people were hoping for until Secret Slayers just confirmed that they were going to have it as a common, I mean as a uh, ultra, and then smack in the face to everyone who bought them because, oh, look, there's a common one coming out literally the same day. This is a card I'm actually looking forward to because, of course, I can just... This is a really splash of, a really good splash of a card in any um, deck because you take any normal spell, you banish it, you get another copy of it, and you put it on the field. This is a great way to flesh out a lot of things as well. Um, honestly, it's just a really good card. The, only, the downside to it is that you target one copy of a card to get the other copy on the field. And at that point, hopefully, you should be winning. But it is a price to pay. And then we have Behave Knave because things need to be reprint. And then Solemn Strike because that needed to be reprint. I was kind of hoping this was either a Solemn. No, I think this is the first time this card has been common. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. And I do believe I do have a comment of this. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's nice to see it get the reprint. I actually. <laughs> I can actually take a look at it now and see, do I have any common, um, or was there a common, because I bought a whole bunch of structure decks, and I think this was, I think Solemn Strike was in a structure deck, I think it was one of the, uh, fairies, Solemn Wings, no, it wasn't, 
No, oh, oh, all right. Well, it's the first time getting root for that. And of all things, it's getting root for as a common, so value drop. But that's to be expected with any of the such acts. My overall opinion, just looking at all of it as a whole, it is, like I said, it's not the, you know, put three combinations of these cards, these structure decks together, and then you got a top tier winning deck. I think, honestly, it's spreading itself out because there's a lot of other cards um, that you definitely need for the next set, which is, e which is Eternal Code, to really get a full grasp of this. Or you can just play beat down <laughs> uh, with Machina and hope for the best. I mean, you see, like, I'm not going to beat this deck down, but there's a lot of hit or misses. There's a lot of really good reprints. There are a lot of, yeah, there are a lot of good reprints here and there. So it's the Chat Trick, the Kaiju, um, Never Sleep on a Cosmic Cyclone. And then the common reprint for um, Solemn Strikes, which is funny because I have six Solemn Strikes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, you know, I just want to thank everybody for watching the videos. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know if you guys are enjoying the uh, Mechanized Mayhem structure deck. So, I'll catch you guys next time in HPJ. Signing out. Take care.